Not every movie can be a box office hit. The trick is figuring out which ones will bomb and then not investing so much money into them. Here are 15 great movies that actually bombed at the box office. Number 15. Mordecai In Mordecai, a painting by Goya has been stolen, possibly to fund terrorism. Clumsy, reckless aristocrat and art expert Charlie Mordecai, or Johnny Depp, is recruited by the Secret Service to track it down, and then decides to steal it for himself. Very few people enjoyed Mordecai. It was hard to think of a way in which the experience of watching it could be any worse. To be brutally honest, it was one of the worst films of 2015. Number 14. Child 44 A handsome-looking adaption of Tom Robb Smith's novel Child 44 saw Gary Oldman, Tom Hardy, and Vincent Cassell directed by Daniel Espinosa in a Ridley Scott-produced Stalin-era thriller. But despite those names, it never really stood a chance. Eastern European countries refused to show it, it had no marketing campaign, and was shown in only a few theaters. It earned $1.2 million in the US and only $3.3 million overall. Its budget was $50 million. Number 13. Cutthroat Island Cutthroat Island tried to be a revival of the pirate genre, casting Gina Davis as a lady pirate captain on a traditional pirate quest to find a treasure map and eventually treasure. Unfortunately, most of the actors were unconvincing as pirates, and the story was so bland for the length of the movie that it proved difficult to watch and lost about $90 million. The budget was put at $200 million, and the estimated losses were $90,074,414. Number 12. Battleship Poor Taylor Kish 2012 should have been his breakout year, instead his two big action movies bombed and bombed hard. Besides the box office crater left by John Carter, Battleship grossed only $65 million back of its $220 million budget. Nobody wanted to see Rihanna act or Kitsch battle aliens yet again. But that will happen when you spend over $200 million to produce a movie based on a board game starring Rihanna and that guy from Friday Night Lights. Number 11. Green Lantern Ryan Reynolds as a wisecracking superhero, what could go wrong? Outside of comic book geeks, folks didn't seem to know or care about the DC hero. And the scathing reviews didn't help. It earned back only $116.6 million of its $200 million budget, according to BoxOfficeMojo.com. Number 10. The Gunman From the director of Taken comes the connoisseur's hard man action misfire. Sean Penn plays a one-time assassin who is hunted by and must take revenge on a former colleague, also featuring Javier Bardem, Idris Elba, Mark Rylance, and Ray Winstone. It should have been brimming with menace. But then, audiences were more fixated on the fact Penn took his top off every few seconds. The Gunman earned $15.4 million against a $40 million budget. Number 9. Black Hat Michael Mann's financial cybercrime thriller opened the same weekend as Clint Eastwood's American Sniper, which banked $90 million in its first few days, one and a half times its budget. Black Hat made less than $4.4 million against its $70 million budget and it eventually earned back just over a quarter of its budget, losing an estimated 80 to $90 million when post-production costs were factored in. Even Thor star Chris Hemsworth couldn't attract the public. Number 8. The Lone Ranger Despite being retooled to lower its mega budget to a mere $250 million, The Lone Ranger, because the latest flop for Johnny Depp as well as an added embarrassment for Disney after John Carter, and one more sign that modern audiences just aren't into big-budget westerns. Phil Contrino, chief analyst for BoxOffice.com, described it as the kind of bomb that people discuss for years to come. Number 7. R.I.P.D. A movie that sounds good on paper and even had a pretty funny trailer, R.I.P.D., just fails at comedy and action in a boring fashion. It seems like it could have been like Men in Black or even taking cues from buddy cop movies, but it misses all marks and falls flat. It was one of those films where people said to themselves, I'll wait and see what other people say about it first before I decide if it's worth my time. Number 6. 47 Ronin Keanu Reeves' samurai film that opened on December 25, 2013, reportedly cost $175 million but grossed only $38 million. That was only enough to recoup its marketing budget, according to USA Today. Even early numbers suggested that the film could be joining Lone Ranger and Jack the Giant Slayer in 2013's box office Hall of Shame. Number 5. Red Planet 
Red Planet was a science fiction film released in November 2000, starring Carrie Ann Moss and Val Kilmer. The movie took place on Mars, and much was made of the fact that it was filmed in the Technicolor format, the first film to do so in years. None of it clicked with critics or audiences, though, and the movie opened in a disastrous fifth place, beaten out by Charlie's Angels and even the Adam Sandler vehicle Little Nicky. Number 4. G. Yee Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez dominated tabloid headlines and entertainment gossip shows, so putting them in a movie was a no-brainer. Unfortunately, every critic on earth hated the movie, and people refused to see it. It earned $4 million in its opening weekend, and then experienced a second weekend drop of over 80%. Ji Yi was withdrawn from theaters after only three weeks, one of the shortest theatrical runs on record for a major Hollywood movie. Number 3. Mars Needs Moms between this animated flop, John Carter, and the disappointing mission to Mars, we hope Hollywood got the message. Audiences hate Mars. Although it came from blockbuster director Robert Zemeckis, this movie failed to appeal to either families, kids, or adults. Between its $150 million production budget, an unspecified marketing budget, and its measly $6.9 million debut, it left a huge gaping hole in Disney's budget. The estimated write-off is $200 million. Number 2. Carter. Walt Disney Pictures' 3D fantasy epic John Carter was a bomb. It was designated a bomb by none other than Disney itself, only two weeks after its release. It only managed to pull off a few action scenes, but left people hanging on the dialogue in between, and really just failing to come together as a movie outside of the mediocre action, especially for its huge price tag of over $250 million. Number 1. Evan Almighty. This movie was supposed to be some sort of sequel to the hit movie Bruce Almighty, but by all accounts, it simply failed to deliver any comedy to make you laugh, earning it a measly 23% on Rotten Tomatoes and losing about $88 million. Due to problems involved with filming live animals, plus costs associated with set construction and computer effects, and an expensive marketing campaign, spending on the film rocketed to approximately $200 million. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.